before we start, uh, I just want to make one thing clear. Uh, this video is not made for long time Brawlhalla players, like, but you know, like, unless you still suck. But this video is mainly intended for um, brand new Brawlhalla players. Well, not exactly brand new, like, if, if you've played Brawlhalla for like a few days or maybe like even a month or something, well, enough time to realize what things are in the game, like signatures and dodging and all that stuff, and you just wanted to know why you suck. So, here's that video for you. Enjoy. Why do you suck at Brawlhalla? If you clicked on this video, you're one of three categories. One. Two. You set shit up because you want to know. Or three. This came up in your recommended, and you said, why not? I want to get better anyways. All of which revolving around the same burning question. The title. Or should I say, the real title, which would be, How to Get Better at Brawlhalla. And you're probably wondering why you should listen to me in order to up your game. Well, I can't say much about my rank, but I mean, I'm basically Platinum 1, but knowledge-wise, I think it's safe to say that you can trust me in guiding you to be a better player. So let's get started. In the community, I can see that many people, many, many people throw Brawlhalla away because they thought it was a bad game on first a few impressions. Well, I'm here to tell you that you should not uninstall and continue playing. If you've heard of a thing called Ranked, then you understand that it is heart-shattering to lose in ranked like any other game but no 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 no. this one's different there's taunts toxicity stupid weapons and people 100 elo above you to make you feel even worse so you want to get better at brahala grab your checklist check sheet cheat sheet notepad notebook whatever and listen up there are two types of people that make up brahala ones that do not care about their rank or just plays rank normally and people that play the game casually and experimentally without even touching the ranked playlist. Well, for this video, you got to remember, we're talking about ranked here, not experimental, where you can just get off scot-free, losing nothing but a bit of your soul every now and then. Player one wins. No, no. We're talking about ranked, a desolate place where you lose not just your rank, but your whole soul. There's nothing in this world that makes me question life more than losing a ranked game of Rohalla, especially if they hit you with the BM or hammer. If you're like this, like, like me, then listen up. I'm about to give four basic things you need, you absolutely need to get better at the game. And this, ba this is basically where the video ends, you don't need to take advice from me. Just know these, and then for the people still listening, I'll explain them. 1. Stop spamming. 2. Spend time learning strings, combos, and reads, gradually getting better as a player. 3. Know what's right and what's wrong about the game. 4. Don't be toxic, no one likes a bad sport. Okay, there you go, end of the video, bye bye. But wait. What are these vague terms? Strings? Reads? Dodging? Let's begin with stop the spam. I didn't put this here for my sake or anybody else's sake to serve as a reason to make my life or everyone else's life easier by telling the people who spam to stop. No, no. I put this here because it genuinely and automatically makes you a better player. If you spam as a way to legitimately play Brawlhalla, or you just brought up on it from the start, then you're playing and always have been playing the game wrong. Or you're just toxic, but listen. Brawlhalla may not be a super tactical, call-out driven, strategic game, but when it comes down to it, it's just another platform fighter. But it's one that has good core game mechanics, easy learning curves, and great playstyles. Honestly, there's so many playstyles in Brawlhalla, it's amazing. You wanna be a super tanky, heavy hitting dude? Pick Core, Zul, or Terros. You wanna be a sneaky assassin archer? Pick Ember. You want to be a ninja that summons shadows? Pick Jiro. But not in his current state, his six kind of suck. You want to be an angel? Pick Zarya. You want to be Meliodas? Pick Petra. It's so simple, just go with what you like and don't, don't spam. spam. Try and learn a combo or two. Now number two. Spend time learning strings, combos and reads. Okay, here we go. A string is a combo that is put together by multiple moves that the selected weapon has. Uh, this is highly prevalent in scythe or greatsword gameplay, because those two weapons rely heavily on strings and reeds. Wait, reeds? What's that, Mordecai? Please explain, what is it? Well, well, well. 
A read is basically predicting where your enemy is going to go next and acting upon it with a dodge read or string. Now that you know what they are, why do you want to be constantly learning them? Uh, this is actually something you can take with you all the way to Diamond and beyond. It's something you should always be learning and taking advantage of. If you learn multiple combos, you can equip that learning and muscle memory to your everyday gameplay. Hence, always want to use that in a sentence, making you a player that is constantly getting better literally all the time. Plus, if you play Rohalla and know literally one string, then once the enemy takes notice of that, they're just going to punish. Or they're dumb. But anyways, if you try to go for the same thing every single time, you're not going to have enough variety, and when you're put in situations where you can't pull off that one specific combo, you're just going to die a fate of doing random moves because you don't know anything else. And that takes us to three. Know what's right and wrong. It's pretty vague, but once you've played for a while, then you'll understand what's right and wrong when playing a game of Brawlhalla. But now that you're in the open, oblivious, vulnerable, I'll tell you what's good and bad in dot points. 1. Spamming of any kind. hugging. <sighs> Taunting with context. Staying overly passive, overly. Totally honest, uh, pl platinum place, platinum place. Deserves plat? Deserves plat, deserves plat. Toxicity in the chat bar. Trying to deliberately kill your teammate in ranked twos. Making fun of pro players or players in general. Now here are the good things. Having a decent player to fight around the same skill level as you. Friendly or no post chat. <laughs> Taunting with the enemy for eight minutes. One brawl.
depression taunts. That about does it for my list of good and bad things in Brawlhalla. I just compiled all the you know, things I learned from my experiences in Brawlhalla. It may vary from person to person, but that's probably the most common common amount of things that'll happen to you. You may think this next one is a, uh, an add-on or a joke, uh, but I can assure you it's it's not. Uh, toxicity has been running amok in Brawlhalla for a very long time, and um, it, to some measures it even drives people away from the game altogether. So, um, I hope that you'll never encounter this sort of behavior when playing, even though it's bound to happen, and try to have fun, and also get better. I, uh, I hope my points were viable to you as a player, and I hope that you, uh, have fun playing for a whole, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.